Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a little bit about using the lighting filter. So let's get going. Lighting is in the filters. So I go to here and down the bottom here is one called lighting. When I click on this, it changes the picture quite a lot and then you get up a control here which is pretty, there's a lot on it, so it's a bit daunting really. But don't worry, a lot of it you can kind of ignore. This bit down the bottom, don't worry about. This bit here, you're going to kind of like use this for. So it's only these things up here to play with, really. This, as it as it comes, is like a, it's almost like a spotlight. But you can see it's kind of dark around it. So you, you can fix the dark around it, first of all. Because that's about ambient lighting. That's like when you use a flash gun, you've got the flash lighting. And you've got the light around, like the sun and so on. So if I turn that up. Everything comes back. Now then, I've got types of light here. I've got spot here. I'm going to use a point light. Because I'm going to put this in here. And I can grab the outside of it and make it big and small. Or I can use that distant slider. And let's change the colour of this to something like orange. Because we've got a sunset here, so we can drop that in there. But that's obviously a bit on the heavy side. But if I go to the blend modes here, go down to overlay then I've got myself a overlay onto the lighting here of the sunset, which I can bring down the opacity for. Let's change the colour a bit. What else can I try? Red, a bit more red in there. Yeah, round to magenta. Yeah, we don't want the, the, the yellow is too much. Somewhere between red and orange there. That's more like it, isn't it? Like we might be able to bring the opacity back up a bit. You can see the way it's, the whole picture is, is changed. Look, from before to after. Very simple and very significant effect. There it is. Let's take the opacity down a little bit. We can add other lights, lights in here, but it does limit it because all the other controls are the same. But let's do one. So I say add. And here's another one. We'll use this one now. And we can just pull this around the place here. And this one is just like a spotlight. So I can, if I bring this in a bit here, and I bring this around here, it's just by playing with these, you find out what they all do. And this is the inner cone and the outer cone, which you control from over here, if you like. And I can see there, I've put a little bit more lighting down on the path there. But if I want to add another one, I'm more likely to add it from here. So I'll just go to uh, over here and to lighting. So I've got more independent control of this now. So I'm going to put this one kind of up here to that light there. And I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can see all these things. Bring the cone in a bit more like this. And I want the if I bring this up here, it brings the light up there. So the light's going to that light at the top of the bridge there. Bring up the ambient light so it's not losing anything. It's just gaining. And then I can change the colour of it. Let's make it a slightly blue light so you can see the effect there. There you are. I've added another light. These here, you literally you play with them, see what they do. And... Sometimes they don't seem to do very much, but literally every time you go, can I change this? Oh, look, shininess makes that a bit lighter there. So it's, I can change the effect of that there. So there you go. Lightings, it's, it's, it's not as scary as it looks. You just play around with it and you can have an interesting effect and quite quickly do something that goes from here. Let's bring that all the way up. So from there to there, from there to there. And we can always tweak them because it's a live filters. We can adjust them afterwards. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.